Hello, welcome back to another beer review from the Costa del Sol. And in this one, we've got an American beer. Um, decided to stay clear of the Spanish stuff tonight. Um, and it's from a brewery which I've been wanting to try a beer from really more or less from the beginning since I started reviewing beers and um, never really managed to get any of their beers. Um, but I was at the Botanica de la Cervasa in Malaga and I had it on the shelf and I thought I have to give it a go. I really have to. And we're going to the Anderson Valley um, Brewery in Boonville, California. And we have a bottle of the Hot Potting IPA. It's super smashing great. I think that bottle's going to stay in the collection. 7%. And there you go. That's the back side. If you're pregnant, don't drink it. There you go. Um, it says brewed by Anderson Valley Brewing Company, Boonville, California, United States of America. Um, it's not saying um, exactly what hops are in this, but it was imported by a, a company in Amsterdam. Hence, I've got a Dutch beer from um, in, in Malaga. So, yeah, looking forward to this. This I've never seen in the UK, Anderson Brewery. Um, anybody out there who has, let us know. You know. I might even apply near the elder. I've never seen that in the UK either. Solar Power Brewery. There you go, that's a nice crown. Keep on that. See what we get. Yeah. Lots of fruity notes there, just swirling around in the neck of the beer. Subtle notes. Got a little bit of, maybe a little bit of Sultana coming out as well. But yeah. It smells nice. It smells what I expect it to be. Um, so let's pour this out like we do. 7% beer. It's slightly dark in colour, as you can see there. Uh, off white head. Um, carbonation is pretty much non existent. And again, again, slight hint of nugget, nougat. Caramel, cinder toffee, even with a little bit of a, a little bit of lemon and a little bit of mango on top of it. It smells nice, you know, boys and girls. I'm going in. Cheers. There's a, hmm, there's a lovely balance. Of toffee and pine and lemon in this start burnt cinder toffee just swirling around in the mouth on the back end you do pick up a slight pine note um, the overall mouth feel very very smooth on the front end you are greeted with nugget, nougat, toffee, that type of thing going on. Towards the back, you get the little pine element, lemongrass even, just you know, comes in at the back. It's a lovely, lovely beer. This. It's funny when I was getting the aroma. It kind of like smelled like real fruity notes, but as soon as I saw the colour of it, I knew there would be like a toffee. I just did. You just do after a while. You can, you do tend if you get an IPA, you can tell by the colour what it's going to throw up, and um, that's exactly what it's done. Um, it's, a, it's a lovely smooth element to it. And I'm glad I've tried it. It really is. It's, it's a little bit toasty on the back end, a little bit of burnt toast. It's, it, it, it does all balance, though. All these different flavours, just all balancing it. Leaves a lovely, lovely mouthfeel. And it is a lovely beer. So there you go. Um, I've just seen the inside of this cap. It says, I don't know if you can read that. It says, Barney Flats. 
the dark beer of Boonville fame. Remember that is. So boys and girls, Anderson Valley, Hot Pot in IPA, Indian Pale Out, it's a lovely, lovely beer. I should have kind of done a bit of homework and got, got some history about it as well, but hopefully I'll do some more of them in long time. In not too distant future, so thank you very much for watching this beer review. It's boiling in Spain. See you, boys and girls, on my next one. Cheers. <laughs>